Hey guys, Melissa here. Okay, so my son has an eviction and I've been calling people to help with this. I've been working on this for about two and a half weeks. Um, Mount Carmel, who helps vets, they are very low on funds. Catholic Charities is out of money. Um, so I've had to do a lot of legwork and trying to figure out who's got what. And, you know, I have my name on this lease to help him. I went to the Salvation Army and got a good chunk of, well, 100% of the electric paid for. Um, I do want to make a point here. Um, I'm trying to think of how to say this. One point the pro-choicers do have, and this is what I've got to say, is that there is not enough help out there. I mean, if you really work hard at it, like I've had to through the years and get food pantries and use, uh, you know, Christmas as a time to go get help with gifts from the Salvation Army or gift cards from people or whatever it is. I mean, that's great. You can do that when you have like a husband who works. When you don't have enough income come in and you are by yourself with a kid, and you don't have that income, it is much harder, much harder to try to get help. And even then, it's temporary help. So for example, somebody just said they will give me $300 tomorrow, someone at an organization. That's $300. Um, there's another place who may help with a little bit more, but this is kind of what it is. And for people who don't have family, they have no support, they don't have anyone, they um, they can't work, I don't know. It's very difficult to raise your kids. So I am asking or telling people in the pro-life movement, like I am, that we do need to do more for people who are in difficult circumstances. And it can happen to anyone. Anyone can be homeless anytime. We have a few more days here and I'm working on this, and the landlord's like, I'm not taking money uh, on the 4th because it's a holiday. She's like, we have up until the 4th legally. And she's like, on the 4th, I'm giving you a $300 attorney fee and da, da, da. So she's been really threatening in this place. So I called another church, okay, basic born-again Christians, non-denominational, okay? They only help their own. That's it. So when I said to her, I said, I'm in the pro-life movement and I'm pretty involved in the pro-life movement. What do you do for girls? What do you do to help girls? And she went on and on and on. Well, we have our own people that we have to help. And that is true to a point. You do take care of your own household to a point. But when you can't get out there and you can't help girls who have babies and your mouth is saying you ought to keep your baby, it's hypocritical. And Jesus helped people, you know, he did all the time. And so when churches are like, we just take care of our own, I said, guess what? I'm a born again Christian. So I am one of you. And she went on and on. I said, you know what? Have a great day. You know, I didn't want to hear it. I said, you should be helping other women, basically, in so many words. And she didn't, you know, so the blind leading the blind. Seriously, guys, we need to be really helping people if we want to put our money where our mouth is.